Hello, this is MikeJ101, and some of you guys might recognize this little circuit board and case from another video I did. Um, it was actually like birthday presents, I think. Um, but this was a little uh, DC to DC buck converter that I was planning on making a nice little power supply out of. Um, I was going to be able to put out, here's the specs of it, 36, 1 to 36 volts at um, 8 amps. So, <clears throat> seemed like pretty good specs. I bought this off eBay, eBay for about $8, I believe. Um, straight from Hong Kong or China or something like that. Um, but, yeah, so, I had tested it out a couple months ago, um, and it worked pretty well, but if you short it out, the transistor blows, or whatever component this is, and I don't know what, I can't know what component it is either, because as you can see, let me get this in focus, my camera should focus here. There we go, it's coming in focus. As you can see, they ground the part number off. Somebody actually manually took a little grinder and ground the part number off. So I can't know what component this is. So they don't they don't want you to replace this if it goes bad. They want you to buy a whole new unit. That is just dumb. I mean like seriously, that's just lame. Like, I don't know. It just makes me mad, but but yeah, as you can see, there's a nice crack in the side. Basically what I did was I had it hooked up, had my transformer here, bridge rectifier diode, capacitor, uh, meter, and I had it hooked up here. And basically I just was like, well, if I'm going to make a power supply out of this, it may as well, um, has to handle some short current. So I just kind of tapped these together a couple times, and smoke pretty much instantly started spewing out of this, and it kind of made a crackling sound, so... Yeah, fail. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys know what what components this this is, that'd be great. It's a five lead, supposedly handles eight amp, seven to forty volts. I have no clue. The other component on here, LM two five eight P. I believe that is some sort of a um, re um either a regulator. No, it's not a regulator. I think it's an op amp but I'm not sure. But yeah, this board is kind of bodgy too. It's got some resistors on the bottom there. But, um, yeah. So I guess I'm not going to make that power supply after all. <laughs> kind of sad about that, but I guess it wouldn't have worked as a power supply anyway if it would have failed. So, yeah. So, if I mean, it, it's probably a good circuit as long as... It, I had tested it before, and as long as you don't go over... 8 amps, it stays pretty cool, and, um, or if, as long as you don't go over, like, 5 amps, the heat sink doesn't overheat too much, and the diodes and the, um, inductor doesn't overheat too much, so it runs fine then, um, but, um, the special thing about this one was that it has variable current as well as voltage, and most of them only had variable voltage, so that's what I really liked about this one and why I bought this one, um, but, but it didn't work out so well. So yeah, um, so yeah, probably a good product as long as you don't short it out or um, go too close to that eight amps. It's probably fine. But um, other than that, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.